playoffs are finally here. Starting on Sunday, the Sixers will take on the Washington Wizards in the 1-8 matchup, which they hope will be the start of a championship run. Any number of things could happen in this year's playoffs, but lucky for you, I have sifted through all the possibilities to come up with nine bold predictions for what I think will happen. For the rights to Ricky Sanchez, this is Mike O'Connor, and this video is sponsored by Body Bio. Let's get into some predictions. Prediction number one. The Sixers will go down 2-1 in either the first or second round. This prediction has nothing to do with how I feel about the Sixers' ultimate fate, but rather has to do with the fact that I think they've been sleepwalking for the past 20 or so games, and one of these teams is going to give them a wake-up call. This isn't necessarily the Sixers' fault, it's just that they've hardly been pushed over the past several weeks. It's felt like every game in the final third of the season has been against either a tanking team or an injured team. The Sixers have fallen into some bad habits, and they're going to get a scare put into them as a result. Last week's blowout loss in Miami was, I think, a symptom of this problem. They came into the game half awake, having won 8 of 9 against a poo-poo platter of tanking and injured opponents, and Miami came in operating in full-on playoff mode. The intensity differential in that game was palpable. The Sixers went from facing a bunch of knuckleball pitchers to seeing 100 mile an hour fastballs and they just weren't ready for it. So I think that they both need and will get a wake up call in one of these first two rounds. There's a strong chance that they'll, they'll be able to bulldoze the Wizards while maintaining their sleepwalking status, but I could easily imagine the Knicks elite defense being able to give them problems in the early stages of that series. I don't have any doubt that the Sixers will ultimately beat both of their first and second round opponents but I do think that they'll take a good hard punch in the mouth no matter what. Prediction number two. The Sixers maintain a 10 or 11 man rotation throughout the entire playoffs. For the past few weeks, I've been racking my brain trying to figure out who will make the seven to nine man playoff rotation. And I've now come to the conclusion that there will be no seven to nine man playoff rotation. Doc Rivers will keep the rotation deep and ride whatever hot hands he sees fit in any given game. When I really thought about it, I couldn't imagine any of Shake Milton, George Hill, Matisse Thibel, or Furkan Korkmaz getting entirely cut out of the rotation. Sure, one or two of them will likely outpace the rest in terms of minutes, but I envision Rivers keeping the rotation long and having the minutes distribution between those four guys fluctuate wildly based on gut feel. He's going to be toying with things on the fly until the very end, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I could easily see Rivers also turning to Tyrese Maxey, making it an 11-man rotation. With how well Maxey's played lately and how iffy Shake Milton has been, Rivers will likely have a tight hook for Milton in case the offense goes stale. If you're interested in a deeper dive on how the rotation could change from one series to the next, I wrote a piece on that topic last week, and you can check it out on our website. Prediction number three, Danny Green hits a game winner. This one is just a gut feel. I think out of every player on this roster besides Embiid, Green has the most comfort and swagger in clutch situations. He's even bailed the Sixers out in crunch time multiple times this season already. In Game 3 against the Nets in the Conference Finals, the Sixers will go to Embiid in the post in the final seconds, the Nets will double, the ball will swing to Green, and will hit a game-winning three. Just my gut feel. Prediction number four. Dwight Howard gets an opposing star ejected from a game. Is this even a bold prediction? It feels like a given that Howard gets into a scuffle with some role player, let's call him Nerlens Noel, and some star, let's call him Julius Randle, jumps in a little too aggressively to defend him, a la Jared Dudley and Jimmy Butler in the 2019 playoffs. Howard is an elite agitator, and he doesn't back down from anyone. He'll piss somebody off enough to do something stupid and get themselves ejected. Prediction number five. Ben Simmons has far and away his best postseason to date. In the past, the teams that have been able to take Ben Simmons down a notch in playoff series have been teams with absolutely elite defenses, like the Celtics in 2018 who ranked second in the league in defense, or the Raptors in 2019 who ranked fifth in the league in defense. What we haven't seen is teams like the Nets in 2019 who were the 15th ranked defense in the league, or even the Heat in 2018 who ranked eighth in the league in defense being able to take Ben completely out of a game. And because this year's playoff path is likely to feature at least a couple of teams with mediocre defenses, I'm expecting big things out of Simmons. If the Sixers path, for example, goes Wizards, Hawks, Nets, they'd be facing the league's 20th, 18th, and 22nd ranked defenses respectively. Without teams having the size and discipline to match up with Simmons, he'll be able to go on his usual rampages in transition like he does in the regular season. It is possible, of course, that their path looks far different from what I laid out, 
if they face the Knicks and Bucks, for example, this prediction is not nearly as much of a sure thing. But I do feel that Simmons will come in extra motivated after missing the playoffs last year and is in for a strong postseason no matter what. Hey, it's Spike. I am interrupting MOC for just one minute to tell you about Body Bio's newest product, Calm. That's right, Calm. So I've told you about Elite. Elite was the thing that would keep you hydrated. Calm keeps you calm. Stress, anxiety. We all have that stuff in our life. Calm addresses your anxiety naturally. Just natural stuff. Amino acids and aptogens. Just five active ingredients in Calm. Here's what you do. Take Calm in the morning. Are you going to work? Are you anxious? Do you need focus? Take Calm. Did you wake up in the middle of the night stressed about your move and your new job and your house hunt? Maybe that's just me. In the middle of the night, you want to go back to sleep? Use Calm. You can use it up to three times a day and you'll feel great. Here's what I want you to do. Just try it. 20% off with promo code RTRS20 at bodybio.com. You can use that on Calm. You can use that on Elite. Anything at bodybio.com. Again, promo code RTRS20, bodybio.com. Take the edge off. Prediction number six. Seth Curry becomes a scapegoat. I'm just not all that confident in Curry's ability to maintain a high level of impact after the first round. I think he'll get targeted on defense, he'll struggle to get anywhere with the ball in his hands on offense, and with his hesitancy to shoot against tight contests, I could easily see elite defenses being able to take him out of a game. Moreover, I think that Doc Rivers won't hesitate to play the likes of Shake Milton and or George Hill over him. I could easily see Curry having a bad game or two, losing some of his minutes, losing some of his confidence, and snowballing into some bad performances and turning into a scapegoat. Prediction number seven, Tyrese Maxey wins a playoff game. There will be a game that we look at as the Tyrese Maxey game. The Sixers will be down nine late in the third quarter against the Knicks, Rivers will give Maxey a run, and he'll ignite them on a comeback that ends in a Sixers win. Going against a tight defense like the Knicks, the Sixers will lean on Maxey a little bit more than they probably should, but in this case, he'll deliver. It'll be a massive cause for celebration. However, the karmic forces of the universe will balance out because, prediction number eight, a former Sixer will steal a playoff game. Take a look through the Sixers' potential paths and you'll find former Sixers left and right, including many who are the type to steal a game in ridiculous fashion. This list includes, but is not limited to, Ish Smith, Howell Neto, Lou Williams, Alec Burks, Landry Shamit, and Timotei Luau Cabarro. You just know that one of those six guys is guaranteed to steal a game. Burks may even get hot for multiple games. Maybe he'll be the reason the Sixers go down 2-1 to one to the Knicks. My ninth and final prediction, which is bound to piss everyone off, the Sixers lose to the Nets in six games in the conference finals. I actually like the way that the Sixers match up with the Nets. They have the perimeter defenders to match up with the Nets stars, they have a player in Embiid who the Nets won't be able to guard, and Simmons' deficiencies won't be exploited as much as they would against an elite defensive team. All that being said, the talent deficit here is just too much. If healthy, Durant, Harden, and Irving are just too devastating of an offensive combination to overcome. I think the Sixers will bow out with a respectable and hard-fought six-game series. 